Hi, and welcome to the Photoshop Shop. Today, we're going to show you how to take a very simple portrait of this bride with a basic white background and turn it into a stunning image. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer, layer, new, layer, and hit OK. And we're going to go back and select the background. I don't like this hard line at the bottom of her dress. So I'm going to make sure that white is the foreground color. I'm going to go up to the brush. I'm going to select 125. Maybe I'll pop that up to about 200-ish. And with my opacity, or my hardness, and with my hardness all the way down, I'm going to go ahead and just simply erase the bottom of her dress but have a very, very soft line where it just seems to be floating. We don't want any hard edges at the bottom. Okay, so now let's go to the layer one, which we're going to rename our flower layer. We're going to go ahead and select our brush tool again, go up to the options bar. We're going to go ahead and select our flower brush and while it is at normal mode and opacity 56 percent we're going to simply zoom out a little of our image and oops and we're going to change our foreground color to the pink and we're just going to hit this twice just to give it some nice color next we'll take the eraser tool zoom ba zooming back in and just brighten our bride up a little bit. And we want to keep the opacity fairly low so that as we get to the bottom it really just fades into the image. So there you have it, a quick simple fix to make any bride portrait unique and one of a kind and just simply stunning. Now, if you want to take it a step further, let's go ahead and reselect the brush tool, zoom out, and we're going to really make the outer areas that were previously white a darker shade pink and simply stamp around, make this kind of flow in Maybe do a couple up here just to kind of give it a little vignette. And do the same at the bottom. And do one more in the middle just to give it a little more depth. And then we're going to select the white and come over here and just really fade it back out. And that way, it gives a real softness to the whole image. Makes it a little more abstract. And then we will go in, select our eraser tool, and once again, highlighting our bride and having her dress just flow into the background. And there you go. That's image number two. Now we can go back and get our brush again. Zooming out again, we're going to make our brush a little smaller. And we're going to select the pink. And we're going to really make this corner stand out. And we're going to make the brush bigger for this side, making this corner really stand out and be dark. That's another option. Let's just add one more right there. As you can see, the more times you stamp, 
the more unique patterns you will receive on your background. Now we're going to flip the colors and start stamping some white. And we're going to put this white just on top of our bride. We're going to do a couple more, maybe one more smaller. And then we're going to grab the eraser tool, just like before, and just go in and ever so softly have her blend into the new flower background. I'm doing a very quick edit on this. If this was for a client, I would certainly take a lot more time to mask this off. But as you can see, it adds a lot of drama, a lot of softness, and it's very unique. Another option, if we want to keep going, is to once again grab the brush tool, and we can select our pink tool and really punch the color up on the outside to where it literally fades into the solid pink. And now you can see there's lots of petals, a lot of softness. Once again, grab the eraser, and really your options are limitless. And if you want to make a nice little halo, or if you want to zoom in, grab the tool, make this a lot smaller, and really make it dark right where the bride is. Make this a little bigger. Then go in, change the colors, make the brush smaller once again. And then we'll grab the eraser tool and just blend her in again. And there you have it. See you next time at the Photoshop shop.